So how come I can't find Graham Perkin on the impact list on Earth, Sky and elsewhere? Graham Perkin certainly made an impact on me and on journalism generally. Mind you, Australians, uh, largely in my view, uh, have always made some kind of impact. Uh, they're not shy. Uh, I've known, going back a long way, I saw Bradman thrash England at uh, Old Trafford. I, I got thrashed myself by a young Australian at Oxford. Uh, uh, Malcolm Turnbull, I thought he'd do quite well in journalism. And my friend Robert Hughes was, of course, the great literary critic of all time. Not right to say Graham came into my life as an editor. He erupted into it, warm, boisterous, gregarious, insistent. Uh, it was just a joy. At the same time, curious enough, I'd just become editor of the Sunday Times at, at, at 37. He'd beaten me by a year to become editor of the age. And there was another uh, young editor, uh, all came to London, but although we never three of us met, it was Graham Perkin and me and Ben Bradley. And all with aspirations, all very competitive. And I'm sorry we never met. And all of us, actually, in my case, Dennis Hamilton in... Uh, Bob, in um, Graham's case, it was Ronald MacDonald, and in Ben Bradley's case, it was Kay Graham. Now, they, those two, Bradley and Perkin, shared a common tray. They would straight put their head straight in the cannon's mouth in defence of courageous, independent journalism. And uh, it's very funny because he didn't get everything right. I have an entry in my diary, which I'm going to read, which I found in going through my papers. This is Graham. Uh, I'm not saying that Graham, I mean, Graham Perkin, always got it right. Uh, my diary says, Over a beer tonight, Graham tells me he declined to work for Murdoch, but thought within the hard exterior of the riverboat gambler there might still be found the lost idealist of the Red Rupert of his Oxford days. Uh, give me a rewrite, will you? Uh, I mean, of course, being a meteor with the hard moral convictions at his core, Graham got into scraps. I can see him now leaning forward, eyebrows rotating, it seemed, smoke coming up and imposing bulk, and my God explaining why he wasn't even going to give in or get in on this particular story or that particular uh, campaign he was running uh, because he was he, he determined to stay an independent newspaper at all costs because he knew and his editors I think will affirm this in choruses as the, on, the only of the press a newspaper can stand between the greedy, the bullies uh, the con men the liars, the malefactors of great wealth between these people and the public the newspaper and the press online or whatever remains the best bulwark of civil liberty. And of course Graham believed this uh, with such a, a vehemence it was impossible to stand up against him even when you agreed with him because, because he overwhelmed you. Right then, it was right then what you said Graham and right to now. Good on you.